there's no proof. Still, Trump says the election was hijacked. Still, there are Republicans who agree with this, basically, this information. These lies are coming from U.S. presidents. I mean, Latvia, we've talked about this information coming from Russia. As I said, so this information, lies are coming from U.S. president, and they play a big role in, um, well, you know, for example, in COVID, uh, fighting against COVID disinformation. If Russia says lies, it reaches, actually, yes, it reaches some people in Latvia. If U.S. president says lies about COVID, you know, drink bleach, uh, essentially, or don't wear masks, yeah. it reaches a much, much wider audience than uh, simply when Putin or Russian media says something uh, crazy like that. So basically, he is good at seeding doubt because of the position he is, like the authority of. Uh, well, that's that's definitely yeah. one. Yes, authority of the office, so definitely. Um, and this is also the case in Latvia, for example. Mm -hmm. well, in Latvia, we had the. Uh, uh, this was when the Rosnach was the minister of uh, justice. Uh, so, the minister of justice, they came out with essentially a conspiracy. Uh, theory uh, that uh, the Istanbul Convention, it's about, you know, more genders and so on. This is an, 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 an basically what the Ministry of Justice put out in Latvia, a ideologically loaded conspiracy theory about this, this Istanbul Convention. And that's very strong if the Ministry of Justice says this, even if it's a conspiracy theory, which makes no sense, you know, there's going to be this kind of, so the, 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 the international organizations uh, which are run by feminists are going to kind of, kind of, kind of dictate the laws of Latvia. And in reality, this, this, this uh, convention against violence in families, it's about introducing more than one gender, uh, more than two genders and so on. Total nonsense. But if the Ministry of Justice says this, it gives it credibility because, you know, you know, most people assume that there are smart people working in the Ministry of Justice, not conspiracy theorists, uh, but it's not always the case. Uh, this this, this kind of, if you have an office, it gives you clout of credibility, it gives you clout of, uh, of uh, kind of seriousness. Uh, but again, it's not always the case that uh, uh, very often there's politicized information coming out from ministries or for political leaders. Uh, very often there is also disinformation in Latvia. So in Latvia, uh, we've had also, and then this is this is some Trump. Trump is not that unique. In U.S., there have been conspiracies going around in Latvia and mainstream politics. There are conspiracies going around for decades. So George Soros, mm -hmm. that's yeah. a conspiracy theory. It's nonsense. But uh, Greens and farmers and also some others have been using it for decades in Latvia uh, about immigration. A lot of conspiracies. You know, they're going to come take over and bring all of an Islamic caliphate. Uh, uh, this was, I think, two, three years ago. So in Latvia, Latvia didn't uh, sign uh, to the uh, United Nations uh, this, this migration convention because of conspiracies. Uh, National Alliance, uh, New Conservative Party, a couple of others uh, voted against this UN convention because of conspiracies. They claim that this, is, this treaty is going to open borders, flood Latvia with immigrants, and so on. That's a conspiracy. Basically, you're saying that UN is evil. It's trying to kind of destroy Latvia as we know it and so on. Most of the world passed it. Estonia passed it. Nothing happened. Latvia said no because of conspiracies. So, so kind of conspiracies, it's not that, that... So I'm not that surprised that at the moment in Latvia and in US, um, so a lot of people have fallen for conspiracy theories because conspiracies and these, this kind of crazy nonsense, it has been part of daily domestic politics in Latvia and US for a long, long time. Now we have more crazy conspiracies <laughs> with... with, with a couple of local uh, crazies and crazy on Trump in U.S. Uh, but still, if you look at the United States, uh, after a war in Iraq, uh, I remember it's like half of Republicans believe that Saddam Hussein was behind 9-11. He wasn't, nothing to do with 9-11. But again, to sell this war, so this image that Saddam Hussein kind of supported terrorists and, and so on was created to sell war in Iraq. Uh, so it's, 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 um, there's a lot of... Lot of um, so basically, Trump and also local populists and conspiracy theorists, uh, they didn't just magically appear. Uh, there are a lot of, lot of problems, uh, a lot of uh, well, disinformation and, and, and manipulation and attempts going around in, in Latvian politics, but also in the United States. It's nothing that, um, well, Trump and local populists and conspiracy nuts, it's not a, I'm not that surprised that, that uh, it's happening now, what's happening with COVID disinformation, because there are all these, these things existed before, now they've been amplified by, as I said, so Trump used this uncertainty and chaos to have these to, to promote these authoritarian tendencies and this is what happens in any crisis people want stability want these simple answers want a macho leader who's going to kind of take care of them even if he can't but he's projecting this image of stability simple answers uh, yeah